people see me, you know, I grew up there. They know me. They know I had life sentences just like them. And so it fills hope buckets and, and lets them know, man, oh, man, that could happen for me, mm. you know? And, and I go there and encourage them, man, not to give up. Keep on, man. Keep moving. Trust God, you know? Your time is coming. You got a time to, you know, because they got some real great guys in prison. You know, I know the media has painted this picture of these animals behind walls, but there are real people there with real hearts that's connected to real families that made some bad choices, you know? And, um, okay. What is Jesus doing in Angola right now? Say that again. What is Jesus doing in Angola right now? Would you say? Oh man, he's, he's still doing something. He's still encouraging God. He's still changing people. Um, I think, um, Angola is a place where a person gets at the end of their rope. You know, you get to the bottom, (laughs) there's nowhere to look but up, you know? And so when you get to the end of yourself, you know, that's, that's the best place to be, you know, no matter where you're at in life. And that's where where God can reach you at. That's where he wants you at broken right there. And man, um, he's still doing some great things there. There's still some guys that's, that's coming out, man. Um, and really impacting their their um communities where they go, you know. Um, yeah, because yeah. they've been through it. You know, they've been through it, and so we have a, a a problem with these these youngsters who are just killing one another. And and the answer is to the the answer for that is the guys that's in prison who've been rehabilitated, that's been reconciliated, that's really been changed. You know, and they're not scared of going to the neighborhood. Yeah, yeah. You know. right, exactly. It's it's a missionary force unlike any other because there's no fear whatsoever there. Yeah.